taking off. Drones can be a useful tool to get that perfect scenic shot, but they are also used to help conservation efforts. The drone right now is flying on its own. I'm just monitoring it to make sure that uh, it's flying safely. Survey technician Cody Deleuz can examine land in the matter of minutes, where on foot could take days or even weeks. We're mostly tracking erosion or uh, creating base maps for us to determine where we need to build or where we need to uh, restore. Unwanted invasive plants can be monitored too, like how this drone footage helps survey the productivity of goats. But with a noise like this, it can be difficult to monitor wildlife. It's not a look at them in their natural habitat because they're gonna be running away from us and they don't act naturally around a drone. I checked the weather network earlier to make sure the wind <laughs> speeds were uh, applicable for this drone. This aircraft also relies heavily on weather conditions. Too much wind is unsafe to fly, while precipitation can alter data. The winter, it brings its own set of challenges too. Snow cover is a concern. Everything looks white, you can't really tell what's there. There are other things that we do in the winter. Uh, we have a team at TRCA that monitors for ice jam flooding using drones, and they basically only fly in the winter looking for uh, potential flooding. Although the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority uses their heavy duty drone, if you have your own drone, you may be restricted on where you can fly it. If you're looking to fly your own drone, make sure you have your license, make sure you're flying safely. Most conservation areas restrict the use of personal drones. However, you may ask for special permission. 